Hello everyone, this is High Opinion. According to the latest data from the Joint Hopkins University on July 30th local time, more than 190,000 new cases of COVID-19 were diagnosed across the United States in a single day. The second time in the past month that the daily confirmed cases is more than 100,000. The spiking cases and the worsening epidemic have raised the anxiety of many Americans who are looking forward to getting their lives back on track. On July 31st, CNN published a report titled Some Vaccinated Americans Have Lost Their Patience With Those Refusing the Shot As COVID-19 Cases Surge and Many Did Return. In this article, Changering, resentment, and frustration, Americans expressed despair and helplessness over the rebound of the epidemic. CNN reported that the average number of the new cases daily is up more than 400% since last month. Hospitals are again filling with COVID 19 patients and most unvaccinated. Anthony Fauci, the director of NAID, noted that nearly 100 million Americans have not been vaccinated so far and that the recent surge in COVID cases is linked to the unvaccinated group. In the United States, where anti-intellectualism is rife, rumors abound, and anti-epidemic is highly politicized, vaccination program is difficult to implement. To promote the vaccine, the federal government and the state governments came up so many measures. As CNN has brought up in this article, in Alabama, the state with the lowest vaccination rate, the government blamed the surge on unvaccinated people. It's time to start blaming the unvaccinated folks. On July 29th, U.S. President Joe Biden called on local government to offer cash incentive to people who get vaccinated in order to increase vaccination rate. The government is also recruiting an influencer army. According to the New York Times, the White House is reaching out to the TikTok influencers to use the influence of internet celebrities to get people vaccinated as soon as possible. Despite this, as disinformation and rumors spread widely on social media, Many Americans still do not trust the government or the science and refuse to get vaccinated. Jenny's community in California is full of anti-vaccine sentiment. There are residents who will shame you for wearing a mask and others who have gotten the vaccine talk quietly about it. Conspiracy theory has made Missouri the hardest hit state in the US, one of the least vaccinated states in the country, where many residents refuse to get vaccination and even be hostile to those who have been vaccinated. It's not freedom that you make this decision that then impact my freedom. That's not freedom one bit. John McLeod, Virginia contract chaser said. And this is Happy Opinion. See you next time.